Hello learners, welcome to this course on Embedded System Design Using AT89C51 Microcontroller. In this tutorial, I will be discussing about on how to interface a 16 cross 2 LCD with the microcontroller. So 16 cross 2 represents we have two rows. In each row, we can display 16 characters. So we are going to use a monochrome based LCD and we are going to interface it with AT89C51 microcontroller. So LCDs are used widely nowadays due to the reduction in prices for the LCDs and its ability to display numbers, characters and graphics enable them to be used more for wider applications. And there is also a refreshing controller into the LED. So thereby the refreshing by a microcontroller outside the LED is not required. Since the refreshing controller is available inside the LCD itself, it will take care of the refreshing the data. And it is easy to program for characters as well as for graphics. So here I show a typical 16 cross 2 LCD where you can find two rows and in each row we can display 16 characters. So it has numerous pins. It is not as simple as our LED. So LED has only two leads, anode and cathode. If I give a supply more than 1.2 volt to anode and if I ground the cathode, LED will light up. Whereas LCD is a little bit complex. It has multiple pins. It needs to be configured properly. So let us look at the pins. So the first pin is a ground line. Second pin is your VCC. So these two are used for providing supply to the LCD and the third pin is a contrast pin so here we connect a potentiometer by varying the potentiometer the voltage given to this pin can be varied so by changing the voltage given to this uh, contrast pin I can vary the contrast of an LCD so if I give a 5 volt it will give a low contrast if I give 0 volt it will give a high contrast then we have three control lines, register select, read or write operation, enable line. So before moving on to this control line, let me discuss about this D0 to D7, which are the data lines, 8-bit data lines. D0 to D7 are the 8-bit data lines. So if we want to print or if we want to display any character on the LCD, we have to send the corresponding ASCII value through this D0 to D7. So ASCII value is a uniformly worldwide accepted code for numbers, characters as well as for symbols. So we have to send the ASCII value to our LCD so that the corresponding character can be displayed on your LCD. Same way, when I send a character to the LCD, I need to indicate its position of display in the LCD, whether it should be displayed on the first row. If it is a first row, in which position it has to be displayed? If it is a second row, which position it has to be displayed? Whether I want to clear the buffer register inside the LCD, whether I want a cursor or not, whether the cursor should be in a blinking state, whether I want to move the character towards left or towards right. So all these are commands which need to be given to the LCD. So the commands are also the hexadecimal values, 8-bit values. So those commands are also will come through this D0 to D7. So both the information to be displayed will come through D0 to D7 which is ASCII values. The commands also will come through D0 to D7. So in order to differentiate which one is the information to be displayed, which one is the command, we use this RS line. RS is for register select. So we have two registers inside your LCD. One is command register, another one is data register. So whatever command we get through D0 to D7, it will be loaded onto this command register. Whatever information we want to display on the LCD, that data in D0 to D7 will go to your data register. So depending upon this RS line, if RS is zero, then D0 to D7 will be treated as command and the command will be loaded onto your command register. If RS is 1, then D0 to D7 will be treated as the information to be displayed on the LCD and it will go to your data register. 
so this rs is a very important pin which can be used for distinguishing your information to be displayed and the command to the lcd then i have the second control line which is read or write information so while writing a data into your lcd we have two options one is the microcontroller can send the data to the lcd wait for some time and then it can send the next data so in that mode we do only write operation whereas in the second mode microcontroller can send the data and it can read the status and it can read the status whether the data has been displayed properly or not once it has been displayed it can send the next data so there we need to have a write followed by a read operation so that is why we have this pin read or write sim then there is a third control line called as enable line so this enable line indicates a valid data is available in d0 to d7 if a valid data is available in d0 to d7 then the enable line will go from high to low pulse so this high to low pulse transition will indicate that a valid data is available in d0 to d7 then we see lcd in different colors like yellow green blue white etc so in order to get that color we have a led on your lcd so in order to give a power supply to that led we use this backlight plus and minus light so it's a simple led with anode and cathode so we need to give supply to this led to make the display to be in yellow color green color or red color or in white color so as i said earlier the commands are nothing but the hexadecimal values so in this table i show the commands so 0x01 means it will clear the display screen so the buffer register content will be clear 0x04 will decrement the cursor so the cursor position can be decremented 0x06 will increment the cursor position 0x05 will move the display right okay if i have a character a that a can be moved towards right 0x07 that a can be moved towards left so 0x08 display off cursor off 0x0a display off cursor on 0x0c display on cursor off 0x0e or 0x0f display on cursor blinking then in the first row first position is given by the address 0x80 that represents beginning of the first line which means the in the first row last position will have an address of 0x8f same way in the second row first position is indicated by 0xc0 if i have a third row fourth row then the corresponding addresses are given here so in the next slide i show a typical addresses for a 16 cross 2 lcd it starts with 80 it ends at 8f second row with c0 it ends at cf if it is a 20 cross 1 lcd it starts with 80 it ends at 93 if it is a 20 cross 2 20 cross 2 means i have two rows in each row we can display 20 characters so it starts with 80 it ends at 93 second row starts with c0 it ends at b3 similarly 20 cross 4 and 40 cross 2 lcds addresses are given here so this data so you can find in the data sheet of your lcd so here i show a typical ascii chart so where you can see for r the ascii value is going to be 82 in decimal same way if it is 0 the ascii value for representing 0 in decimal is 48 in hexadecimal it will be 0x30 same way for 5 it will be 53 in decimal and 0x35 in hexadecimal value so we have ascii values for the numbers alphabets and for symbols also so here in this application we are going to interface an lcd in 4 bit mode where i will be using only four data lines we will try to send the data in terms of a nibble format first a lower nibble will be sent then an upper nibble will be sent so i am going to use it in a 4 bit mode that by i can save four pins in your microcontroller 
so here i take at89 c51 microcontroller so the four data lines d4 to d7 of lcd is connected to port 2.4 to port 2.7 then the rs line is connected to port 2.2 enable line is connected to port 2.3 and here what we are going to do is we are going to do the write operation we are not going to read the status of the lcd so we are going to do the write operation so our w bar pin will be grounded so that is how the connection diagram is given so here i show a typical circuit so where i have connected a oscillator circuit so the oscillator of 10 megahertz is used and we have connected the capacitors for providing the stable frequency and there is a reset circuit connected to the reset pin of your microcontroller so by default this reset pin will be at logic low whenever i close the switch logic high will be given to this reset pin thereby reset operation will take place then here i show a lcd so d4 to d7 is connected to port 2.4 to 2.7 and rs is connected to 2.2 enable is connected to 2.3 and you can see here rw bar i have connected it to ground in addition to rw bar connected to ground i also grounded the lower part of my data d0 to d3 is also grounded then vss is grounded and vee i have connected it to ground which means we will get a high contrast so in a simulation point of view we will not be able to see any contrast variation but when we do it on a hardware you can able to visualize the contrast variation so you can connect a potentiometer by varying the potentiometer you can get the variation in the contrast and vdd is connected to the circuit so a program which we try to build in a micro c pro for 8051 integrated development environment is shown here so first we specify the connections module connections so where lcd rs is connected to 2.2 enable is connected to 2.3 d4 to 2.4 d5 to 2.5 d6 to 2.6 d7 to 2.7 so this shows the connection between your lcd and the microcontroller then i declare four arrays character arrays so in text one i put a string at89c51 text two a string of programming is included text 3 lcd 4 bit mode text 4 exam then i use a character variable i then we initialize our lcd in the main program then i try to provide the command lcd underscore command i give the variable lcd underscore clear so which is equivalent to the hexadecimal value 0x01 so then again i try to clear the lcd after clearing the lcd we try to make the cursor off then we try to send the data lcd underscore out 1 comma 3 text 3 so 1 comma 3 indicates first row third position in first row third position we try to put text 3 text 3 is what lcd 4 bit mode so this function lcd underscore out will do a auto incrementation of the addresses so 1 comma 3 represents only one position in first row third position in first row third position l will be displayed then this function will take care of automatic incrementation so it will automatically increment to 1 comma 4 in 1 comma 4 c will be displayed 1 comma 5 d will be displayed so like that it goes on same way we try to put another data in the second row sixth position second row sixth position we display a character text 4 so text 4 we try to put exam so i want to retain this output for some time so we introduce a delay function here so for 2 seconds this value will be retained so after which i am going to clear the lcd using the lcd_command function then i am going to put lcd_out in 1 comma 6 first row sixth position i am going to put text 1 text 1 is at89c51 then in the second row fourth position text 2 so text 2 is programming so this will get displayed in the first row it will put at89c51 second row programming will be displayed so again i try to retain this value for 2 seconds now i want this display to move towards left and right 
so in order to do that in a while function i try to initialize a for loop where i takes a value from 0 to 7 so which means 8 where 8 times so i equal to 0 to i less than 8 means i will go till 7 so i changes from 0 to 7 so for 8 times i am going to do a left shift using this command function so 8 times my display at 89c51 in the first row programming in the second row will get shifted so after 8 times the characters get shifted again for another 8 times i am going to do a right shift then after completing the right shift again it, since it is in a while loop it will go to the initial part and it will try to do the left shift again so again right shift will continue so this will continuously run in our system so our text which is displayed on the lcd will move towards left by eight times then it will move towards right by eight times then again it will move towards left by eight again it will move towards right by eight so this sequence will continue so we try to build the circuit using protease 8 professional so here i show a typical circuit where the oscillator of 10 megahertz is connected to xtal1 and xtal2 a reset circuit is connected to your reset pin and the lcd is connected to port 2.2 to 2.7 so once circuit is built we can do the programming in micro c pro for 8051 so here as i explained it shows the connection diagram then arrays which have been declared then we initialize the lcd then i try to display the characters so after displaying the characters i try to shift the displayed characters towards left by 8 times and towards right by 8 times so this will happen continuously once we have completed the program we can build the program so that an hexadecimal file can be created so now the hexadecimal file has been created so now let us go to the circuit import that hexadecimal file onto our ic so right click the ic edit properties select the hexadecimal file so this is the hexadecimal file lcd open provide the corresponding oscillator frequency okay then try to execute the program and see whether our program is working properly or not so when i press this play button you can see lcd 4 bit mode example then it got erased and at 89c51 programming now it starts moving towards left so it will move towards left by eight positions and then it will start moving towards right by eight positions now it is moving towards right by eight positions so this is how an lcd can be interfaced with your at89 c51 microcontroller thanks for watching please subscribe for more technical learning thank you